three, where the white crows do, apostolic like church we might have faith less, but it makes me rehearse. We're the fourth best band in this crazy little town. We used to be third till those Cubans came to town. Hi, I'm here for the Rosin Telegraph with the White Crows. What's the full name of your band? We're the White Crows of the New Apostolic Church right. of Roslyn. Of Roslyn. And is there an Apostolic Church in Roslyn? No. No. Where does the name come <laughs> from? It's in Castlegar. The, there is an Apostolic Church in Castlegar. There is. Yeah. Don't sue us. We're all from Roslyn, though. The White Crow is who we're named after. We have no affiliation with the church. We're uh, named after the, the uh, White Crow at the New Apostolic Church in Castlegar. And that's a crow that actually exists? Is it's this like a live bird? It's a living bird. Um, it lives near the New Apostolic Church. It's uh, got a black beak and a beautiful white plumage. Wow. So and um, black feet. So it's a unique <laughs> bird. Would you say maybe albino? No. Yeah. An albino would have a pink. It has no pink. It's got a black beak and black dark eyes, so it's a white it's crow. It's a spirit crow. Some call it the spirit crow. And some people call us the white crows of Lord Crow as well. Because the crow has been seen at Lord Crow. Really? Apparently doing some shopping. <laughs> it doesn't stick to just the apostolic church. It, it flies around to all the neighboring houses and Lord Crow. Out of the high school, Friday show, it was foggy. It was party, it was party, don't you know? We were the fourth and last band to play on that night. And we played it like we meant it, and I think we did all right. So, this is Sparky Steves, Marty Kinsella, and Matt Williamson, uh, just a few of the members of the White Crows. And uh, they're playing this Saturday in the Red Room Lounge as a part of the live series that's being put on by Rosin Radio and the Red Room Lounge. And uh, how did you guys uh, get started with your band? You're all from Roslyn. Well, the story that Sparky always tells is that uh, we kind of, kind of formed here at his house in his living room when uh, he was injured with a, a femur fracture. And uh, we just kind of came together and jammed every once in a while, worked on songs. And, and then when he was well and healed, you know, we started taking it a little more seriously and yeah. developing our sound and our songs. And, and are you all original members of the band? Uh, Marty and I are. Matt came on soon after the original, uh, um, original gig, which was at the Rosalind um, High School Variety Show. Oh yeah, that was um, That was our original gig with uh, Jordan River Hall, and uh, we came on uh, that night pretty excited as the White Crows in the New Apostolic Church, yeah. and the Reverend Sparky Steves. Two years oh, ago. Yeah. Reverend Sparky yeah. Steves and the White Crows in the New Apostolic Church. And then we took on Maddie soon after that. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> But he's an integral part. You play the bass, guitar, and the guitar. Is that right? I don't really play the guitar. I do, but not in the band. I write my songs on the guitar and learn how to play them on the bass. Okay, and so most of the songs that you perform as a band are your original songs? All of our songs on the set list for Saturday night will be originals. We've been talking oh, we stole over time stole about them. Stolen one, anyhow. Well, We've talking over. Didn't we steal one? The talk. We've <laughs> spoken over time about taking on the odd dog cover tune, but uh, it just hasn't worked out. And uh, yeah, usually someone comes up with writing something else every chance they get to avoid the dreaded c word. We do have a couple of covers, but they're kind of obscure, and, and people would probably 
think that they were our uh, own. I, there's also the song Barking Dog, which comes up pretty often. Yeah. That's about this dog here. This is my little dog, Taboo, here, lying on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually there's a few songs with dog references. Yeah, uh, there's a dog that you dislike very much, Sparky, I've heard you. Sherlock Bones is another dog soon we song we yeah. sing. I have um, not written a dog song. Not yet. No. <laughs> written a few dog songs, but... Dogs inspire people, you know? Yeah. You know, they're part of us. Yeah, a lot of us. I heard... Well, uh, there used to be, I, I don't know what it was in the post office, one of the old post office boxes had this weird symbol and it was Dogtown. And that's what I, how I kind of called Rosalind sometimes, Dogtown. Yeah, a lot of dogs. A lot of dog, and dog people, lot dog, of dog lovers. People, yeah. More of a dog town than a cat town. Yeah. The dog ran away. The dog ran away. The dog ran away. Uh, the, the band, the original High School Variety show, would have been uh, Rosalind Winter Carnival. Two years ago? The year, two years ago, two years ago. Yeah, yeah. two years we've been together. Okay. No, nope. three years ago was the Broken Three winters ago. Okay. Two, two years. Yeah. And you also played the Winter Carnival this winter? We played, uh, um, we played the Winter Carnival at the, we were the uh, opening of unofficial opening act of the Blizzard Music Fest this year at the uh, Winter Carnival, yeah. Well, good for you. Congratulations. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. So just two years and you're already going a long way. Now you have another gig this month at the Red Room. That's right, this, and, and we're hoping to get... What we're trying to do with recording is is just keep getting little snippets recorded and uh, and see what we get or hear what we get. And uh, yeah, like my dream isn't to really sit down in the studio as much as just grab cool sounds along the way and you know yeah. words so. Yeah. so this is another opportunity to do that looking good and this this saturday will be uh will be the debut of the of the red room series and uh, are you guys looking forward to that performance that will be recorded live and uh played probably the following week or the week after i think it's going to be on the fun. on Rosalyn radio so do you have any uh, ritualistic things that you do before you go on, you know, huddles or chanting or...? We just stoke ourselves up a bit. Yeah. I mean, I like to go like, this show is going to rock. Yeah. We're going to rock this thing. I like, what, what kind of, like, you say stuff like that all the time. Do you're, I? you're more after the show, which I really like to do, is like, we rock that thing. And we, sometimes we really sucked. And Marty's been like, we rock that thing. Right. <laughs> and we're like, the eternal <laughs> off, you know, like, we play all night long. We play all our songs. But yeah, I mean, the, hey, the, the Red Room series, whatever they're going to call it, I'm not sure, but uh, Buzz is uh, hosting that. Buzz Reed, yeah. Yeah, and, and he's going to put together the, the series of radio shows. Yeah. Two shows, right? So every Saturday there will be another show um, for approximately six weeks, right? And right. Then... Yeah. I hear CBC's thinking of bumping the Mercer Report. And... Oh, yeah. That would be nice. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> get That's a lot of coverage. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be good. So thanks for the uh, <laughs> thanks for the interview. Saturday night at the Red Room Lounge, you can see the White Crows. The whole band will be there. You a six member band, is Check it? Check out this beautiful That's guitar six, made seven. by Bridget O'Malley. Five right yeah, now. Yeah, gorgeous. Five we used to be band. six piece. There was yeah, you know, we don't want to. That's okay. See you at the Red Room. See ya. <laughs> White Crow. Hi, Rosalind. Right away.